Hello and welcome to Zandvoort for another round of Formula One action. Um, I'm afraid that's my job here. Hello and welcome to Zandvoort for another round of Formula One action. We're going to be Max Verstappen for this race in Holland and after a slight wobble on the final corner in qualifying. It will be P5 where I start the race today. And I would describe the conditions as British summer. That's what I'd go with. Heavy rain with maybe a tiny little bit of sun for 10 minutes. Uh, let's have a quick look at the grid then before we get into the racing, which is what we're all here for. Top two lockout for Mercedes. Alex Albon looking deep in thought in P4 there. And then it's me and Vettel, and that's all we need to see. Let's get to things from the start line. Ready to go then on our first race, F1 2020, going for the winners, Max Verstappen. And the lights are out at the circuit Sandvoort. And we've already had a bit of contact with Charles Leclerc there on the very short run into turn one. But we're holding it round his outside, obviously, trying to get the better. Oh, he's pushed me into the gravel already. That's going to lose me a certain amount of positions. It's not what we wanted off the start line. Down in P7 now, so we've lost two positions already. Carlos Sainz is ahead of me and Vettel, the two to sneak past. We're off the start line like a... Like a coiled spring, but it's uh, since gone downhill. Now we're trying to go around. Carlos Sainz is outside. We got a bit of a tire on the grass there and lost another position to Ocon. This. Oh, well, that didn't last long. <laughs> okay. Before I could even react to the fact that we lost a position to Ocon, we hadn't lost a position to Ocon anymore. So uh, th this <laughs> this my first race uh, on the new circuit that's in the new game, hoping to provide a bit of gameplay for you all, a bit of insight into uh, what it's going to look like, what it's going to feel like. Down the inside of Carlos Sainz we go, not making much hard work of him, and we're going to have to hook it round the outside for this final chicane, but the job is easily done, and we're back to P6. So we're still not quite where we started, but there's a long way to go. There's a long strategic battle ahead. Uh, weather dependent of course the strategy option was actually to stay on inters throughout which might require a certain amount of tyre management at some point but uh, I think if these conditions are to improve at any stage we, uh, we might make a lunge for the, uh, for the soft tyre and, uh, and, and catapult our I don't know, these are, this is all rampant speculation at this stage because at the moment it is pretty dismal in terms of condition. And we're now fighting with Albon. So Vettel's taken Albon to the cleaners at some point. And now Alexander Albon is well within my sights as we look to move ourselves up the grid. And we are looking to move ourselves up the grid. P1 is still very much a possibility. Through turn eight there. I think that's my favorite corner on this track. A real satisfying sweeper. And turn nine has proved to be the one that provides the gap. To get through and past Alex Albon up to P5, we have regained everything that we lost after a pretty dismal first sector. And now the chase is on for Sebastian Vettel, who sits in P4 just further down the road. <laughs> oh, I am close now. So close, Mr. Vettel will hear me breathing down his neck as we once again approach turn eight. One of my favorite ones, usually right on the money as we go through here, should be again, and hopefully will gain me some time. Yes, ever so slightly, all but alongside him now into turn nine, holding this one through. He's holding it around the outside, but it looks like I'm gonna have the right line into 10. And there we are, P4 is now gained. That was a brilliant, even if, you know, modesty is usually the best policy, but I'm not gonna go with that now because that was fantastic. That was a very good overtaking maneuver. Well done me. I think I'm just about the only thing that is absolutely sizzling at the circuit Sandvoort today because I'm now all over the back of Charles Leclerc and if it wasn't for a bit of a twitch on the exit, I'd have been alongside approaching turn eight once again. But uh, we've lost a bit of ground there. I actually think on the subject of sizzling, I actually think it stopped raining. I think that we could be, uh, I think we could be on for a drying track any time now. Um, I'm going to have to just watch the, uh, watch the actions of the other drivers here because if, if, there's, if there's a few pit darts, I might have to follow suit. We might have to, a, a tactical change could be in order. I do not want to be left out in the cold on inters when everyone else pits. 
So I think we're going to... Yeah, we'll go with that. If, if Mr. Charles goes in for the pit at the end of this lap, we will follow suit. So we'll keep our eyes on that. Look at the crowd. Look at that. Just absolutely tears of orange shirts. Hopefully I'll be doing those proud with my performance today as Max Verstappen. So let's keep an eye on this one. We're ready to select the next tyres. What's Mr. Charles Leclerc going to do? We have an offer of a change of strategy from the pit, guys, and we're going to take it. We're taking it. In we go. The track is drying dramatically, and the other Ferrari has followed, which seems very bizarre, because Vettel's now going to be waiting. Bottas was also in, so Bottas has pitted as well, and I think Bottas is now behind us. He is. I don't know what's gone on with Mr. Bottas, but he's, he's had a disaster, and he's now, we've jumped him. Me and Leclerc have jumped him in the pits. Hamilton stayed out. Oh, my word, this is tr tricky to keep track of when you're on your own, and you don't have Martin Brundle next to you telling you exactly what's going on. Uh, so I'm down in P6, but that's because a few cars ahead of me haven't pitted. In terms of race position, Hamilton's ahead, Charles Leclerc's ahead, but I've done Bottas in the pits. So that's, I don't know what happened with his pit window, I don't know if he had damage or something, but uh, Bottas has had a shocker. And Charles Leclerc's having a shocker here, stuck behind Kvyat, and I'm going to take him once again into turn... Oh god, I absolutely barged Kvyat out of the way in the end there. But uh, that's Pete, that's... I've had him. So Albon stayed out as well, sensibly, because I was in the pit. So Vettel's gone... Albon, I think it's only Albon and Hamilton who haven't pitted that are ahead of me. So Hamilton, oh my, we're right, we're on for the race lead here. This has been a sensational pit window because if Hamilton comes out behind me, we are the out and out race winners. There's no way Albon will be ahead of me because he was already behind me. So Hamilton's the one we keep our eyes on. Teammates in the pit, so Albon's gone. Look at the track, by the way. The track has dried unbelievably fast in the last lap or so. There's Hamilton in the bottom left, just leaving the pits. Now it's going to be a race around turn one, but surely I'm hot favourite. Surely I've got it. <laughs> P1. Sensational stuff. What what a couple of laps that was. I've gone from what, fourth? Fourth to first in two laps, just with a well-executed pit. Bottas got caught with his pants around his ankles. Don't know what happened to him in the pits. Uh, Leclerc got caught with his pants around his ankles by Kvyat and by someone else I think. Kvyat, Leclerc is completely out of sight. He had a nightmare trying to get through the traffic and Hamilton stayed out a lap too long. Ultimately following Leclerc's lead was the best strategy. It's just a case of being sensible now, looking after my tyres, looking after myself. Looking after my voice if I'm being honest. Crikey Bob's nearly eight minutes. Oh I'm feeling a bit raw. But nowhere near as raw as the screaming Dutch fans will be feeling if I can guide this home to what would be a dream win. A virtual win for Max Verstappen in the season. The year that he never got a chance to, uh, to win a home Grand Prix. But let's be honest, he will win it at some point in his career. There's, there's a long career ahead of him. And uh, I suspect there's a few world championships that are going to be thrown in there as well. Such as the pace... That the young man shows, um, and the pace that I'm showing on this lap is looking like fastest lap material. So it's a green first sector. What are we going to get second sector? It's been pretty hot. It's green again. So, so if we could pull out a, uh, a Barney coloured third sector, we could certainly be on for a fastest lap here. Towards the final corner, just need to make sure I kiss both curbs. Just giving that one a peck, and the other one a nice little... Snog as well, and we're over towards the start-finish line, and if this is purple, we're going purple. Oh, yes, look at that. Absolutely ideal. Caution, caution. Oh, what have we got going on here? Oh, it's Ocon. Ocon off there. That's a real stinker for him. Oh, dearie me. Well, that's a uh, yeah, slight yellow flag to negotiate there, but uh, no problem at all. Don't think it's going to bring out a safety car, so we're all good. The home fans really can smell it now. The victory is within sight. Two laps to go. And uh, Hamilton is my closest challenger. Is that six seconds back? Yeah, you know, I'm running away with things. Absolutely.
This has got to be some sort of sick joke. Oh my word, right. I've got a real fight on here to stay in front of Hamilton. He's going to have the run out of the corner. I could be losing P1 here with two laps to go. Look at him sweeping through. Oh, it's, it's absolute disaster stations with two laps to go. I have got two laps to pull out the absolute sweat and salvage what is rightfully my victory. One little tyre on the kerb, one moment's too much oversteer, and we're round. Rich Mix 3 DRS, it is, it is ultimate sweat time. Lewis Hamilton, you are staying well within my sights. Into turn one we go. We, oh no, right, I've got two laps here. The hate I'm going to get if I don't manage to pull this back is not worth thinking about. The fans are going to be absolutely seething and rightfully so i've led like the back half of this race here we go right on to my favorite corner turn eight this is the one where we've gained a lot of time and a lot of positions down we go now look at that we've gained the time we're going down the inside into nine no we're just short we're just short and i've got the wrong angle and i've lost loads of time that i've gained oh this is not even funny anymore this <sighs> right it's going to have to be a, a, a final lap bonsai move. We're going to have to go bonsai territory. His tyres, of course, a lap younger than mine. Bit of a twitch again on the penultimate corner. That's lost me time. I don't know when I'm going to... I'm going to really struggle here because when am I going to get the move done if I can't get it done in the first half of the lap? This is, well, there's that second DRS zone. Second DRS zone is my last hoorah. I'm going to have no chance into turn one because I'm miles away. So that's an absolute pipe dream. Into turn one. I've really cut, I'm really pushing the boundaries here. Oh, no, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Hamilton's going to steal it right at the death. This is a real big moment now. Right, approaching turn eight. This has been my absolute golden dust of a section of the track. We're right on form here. It all comes down to turn eight, and I've almost completely bottled it. Really, tyres on the grass territory, and that is not good enough. It's not good enough. The tyres have gone away, and it's going to be curtains. I'm going to do really, I'm going to do really well to get him now into the final chicane. It's going to have to be a bonsai move. No, there's no way. There's no way. I'm miles away. I've thrown it away. I've completely bottled it. I have completely bottled it. I have not provided the home fans with the victory that they deserved because of a wobble. One wobble, middle sector, two laps to go, eye off the ball. <sighs> Miles away. Ultimately, the tyres the tires didn't carry. I didn't have enough legs in the tyres to get the move done. Max Verstappen's delighted, and he did start P5, so you can see why. But I am mortified. Sergio Perez, driver of the day. Max Verstappen goes from 5th to 2nd in his own Grand Prix and doesn't get driver of the day. I'm not happy about that. And there he is, the six-time world champion, jubilant in his celebrations. Sorry, I couldn't do justice for Max Verstappen in his own Grand Prix, but there we are. That's the first race that I've done on F1 2020. It was, it was great. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Slight disappointing end, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the gameplay, the coverage, and I hope to see you back for many, many more in the future. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.